Maybe we'll, we'll talk to him after, I think. After, uh... After. So... 13,000! You think I have 13,000! This bitch is crazy. God, where the hell can I... I don't want to jack a ride, but I might have to. Ugh, oh, this is- this is gonna suck. I will likely have to jack a ride. That is- that is something that might happen. So... Uh, I want to personally apologize to the next victim of my of my demise. I guess I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it. Oh God! Tune up. Yeah, well, we gotta wait for that. Oh, I can finally go to Bocado. Nice, okay. Yeah, let's let's get compensated for our damages. Attempted vehicle break in. Nope. This is the fucking. Go oh, fuck yourself. I'm stealing this. Okay, this is... Oh, fuck. Okay, the speed in this is actually ridiculous. Holy shit. Wait, did I pass it? Oh, I didn't realize I had to go down this way. Okay. God! I saw my car and damaging it. Shush. Yeah. It's whatever. Oof, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Damn. Okay. Alright. This is actually a pretty fast fucking car. Holy shit. I'm actually very impressed by this. You know what I should do? I should try doing this. That was not what I wanted to do. It's been a long time. Kaku Akata, a lady of Westbrook Estate. 
When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts, Cassandra Dorset. You did quite well, you and that friend of yours. Until then. Thank you. Okay, it's a lot easier to control on a controller. Let's be real here. Heard you're home. Already. You sure got that ear to the ground. Siempre. Anyway, you need something. You know where to find me. Thank you, Padre. I'm non Whatever! Come and see my little parish. We can spend a moment just didn't talk. Ooh. That's actually kind of beautiful. Damn. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and Horses of, of fire appeared. Take a shot every time I hit something. <laughs> Have fun literally going to the hospital because of alcohol poisoning. It takes me some time to get used to a car. So, I don't know. I have a theory that cars would please the Lord if you returned to our world. In particular, the tuned up Chevrolet Thrax 380 Jefferson the I Oh, Jefferson, I have for sale. The, a car so mighty and majestic, it almost makes you want to bow down to it. A great car destined for a great person. The question is, my dear V, are you worthy of it? Do some soul searching. Check your balance and get back to me. <sighs> my lawyer's gonna go data crash on your ass. You hear me? He'll run you out of biz. Would you be so kind as to give me your lawyer's contact information? Fuck you, Cirque Brain! Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. Uh, hey, Del. Hello, sir or madam. How can I be of hey, service? Hey, he was asking. What's got into you, Del? Don't recognize me? You sent me a message saying I should come in about the accident. You are currently speaking to a Delamay network subroutine. Alas, my operational capabilities are limited. Could you please clearly recite your incident report? Don't give them any numbers. That's how they find you. Who? Uh, 77 Incident report on file. Confirmed. 96 at the end. Public enemy. Government target. Your identity has been established. Mm. Mr. Hans Jonas. What phrase would best describe your experience of incident number seven seven one 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 zero one zero nine six? Actually a little heartbroken about my damaged ride, but I'd rather talk to the real Delamine if I can. V, my apologies if the receptionist was a bother. I'm preoccupied with the crisis that is ongoing, and I simply cannot oversee everything. I've taken the liberty of transferring a settlement to your account to compensate for the damage done. Bah. Special treatment. Thirty four hundred. Would you mind if we spoke elsewhere? No. No. Sure. Let's talk. Then please follow the drone. Hi. I'm fully aware customer service is less than satisfactory at the moment. Perhaps a guided tour will prove some form of compensation. This corridor links the shop to the office. Oh. Oh, wow. What's that? And here is where the magic happens. The shop is fully automated. I'm pondering broadening my portfolio to include repair services. I'd say you should. The shop is currently overwhelmed with work. I think I know why. I'm still looking into the cause of the Delamay network vehicle failures. My working hypothesis is an advanced virus. I must resolve the situation quickly. This sudden rise in incidents is proving costly, aside from drawing unwanted attention to the company. I understand. Makes sense. The control room. I feel honored to have you here. Rather, surprisingly, 
Well, control rooms are for Ganics. What good is it to you? There was a time this facility was human operated. I simply inherited their infrastructure. Ah, well, what's with all the all lights? These lights. What are they for? That's what I wish to discuss with you. A green light denotes a vehicle with which I am in contact. As you can see, that is no longer the case for some vehicles. Those are the red lights. Mm -hmm. Repair drones can't take care of this? This time, I fear, human intervention is required. I'm aware you offer a broad range of services and are unusually discreet. Thus, I'd like you to assist me in recovering my missing vehicles. Yeah. Discretion matters well. Why is discretion a concern? Unnoticed, unbothered, right? In my case, broadly tolerated. Yet a marked increase in inspections suggests the authorities have begun monitoring me. Talking to NCPD or Netwatch? The latter. My legal status does not fit neatly within current regulations. If I'm not careful, I could easily be categorized as an illegal immigrant. <laughs> well, why not? Okay, sure. I'll go after you missing wheels. I'm pleased to hear it. I shall send you the coordinates of their last known locations. You must simply deactivate each. I'll then re-establish the link and return them to my garage. Okay. What I can do. Delamain vehicles are exceptionally secure. Be sure to have a scanner with decryption capability on your person. Yep. Uh. Oh, thank you. Oh, right. Okay. I think we're good. Thank you very much. I'll help you out, Dell. Oh. Sorry, buddy. That's a kind of cute drone. I like that. Alright. So. You know what I think the funniest part is? That I have to admit. is actually kind of amusing to think about. Is that. Even though this game. Do we know what car we get? Uh. What do you mean? Or do we get a car? I don't think we get a car. I think. Oh, actually, what's this? Thank you. Processing data now. Please wait. All right. Organic food continues to be a major cause of illness. Do not eat. Okay. So let's get this done. Let's talk to him, and then after that, we'll go and start uh, going through that. Do we know what car we get? I think what happens is with this one is that we'll just get... Oh, my God. <gasps> Fuck me. Uh... Yeah, get the controller, but holy shit, I didn't realize we had that many. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then we got the main mission. And the best thing is, we still have more to do. This fucking let's play is gonna be my longest. I can assure you of that. Oh god. All right. Let's roll. Okay. That is very good. <laughs> I I am very happy. Ah. Oh. Like. So like what I was going on beforehand. Um. There's a lot of shit on my screen right now, right? But the frame rate is actually pretty good. I don't know if it's like translating well in in the actual recording, but it's surprisingly smooth. I'm not getting like major stutters or anything of that sort. So are you type who does side then main? Uh, so okay. Well, that's what happens when you don't look at when you don't look at the road while driving. So that's why you don't text and drive or read messages. 
I had one stutter in the beginning. No, well, here's the thing. The best part is, is that it, it doesn't stutter that much. And so, I'm somebody who does, like, it depends, like, if, if I need to, you know, for this, I'll need to go through, like, get the story mission done. But, if it doesn't show, like, there's any haste involved, then I'll go and do, like, all the side gigs. So. Jump it! <laughs> Landed! I am amazing. I don't think that hurt it up at all, but I will take it. Talk about a short... Okay, well... I was actually kind of hoping that we would do a stunt off that, but whatever. Actually, I think that might have actually made it a little bit shorter. Alright. What? <laughs> Hello V, I have a Magaki. A Maki guy, my mind for sale. Aside from selling like a fruity cocktail, it's a little small, but you can I honestly want to get it just because of that. That just sounds so fucking funny though. Oh, my door is aft. Okay. Screw you. Actually, you know what? Since we're here... What'd you do? Dead. Oi, what? You're dead. I think he's dead, actually. I wish you can actually see if they're dead or not, but I don't. I don't think we uh, we can actually see that that easily. <laughs> how am I looking? How am I liking this game? I'm I'm liking it a lot. I really, ooh, hello, a bike? This isn't yours, right? Oh, I can't even, oh, I have to go this way anyway. Damn, this thing actually has like, This thing has some pickup. Woo! 180. Woo! Ah. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, well. Ow, 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 ow. Maybe it's better this way. Sit. All right. You do not look so bad. <laughs> then, in the car, I doubt it you would survive. Well, why, why did you help why me? Why do you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. <sighs> this about the biochip? That why I'm here? <laughs> mm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. <laughs> Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. Well, you know, kind of wish it wasn't like that. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You're thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Alright. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Uh don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume McCorpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I do stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Okay. Yorino Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have <laughs> allies prepared to bring Yorino to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. Hmm. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So... So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. <sighs> exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. All right. How about Anders Hellman? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. What's this? Hanako-sama, 
Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking soccer scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Mm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. I would rather not have a brawl break out here because I already like ran from the cops like two minutes ago <laughs> before we came back in, so I would rather not have them back here. Tom's alright. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. <laughs> he reminds me of my father. He also walked in a kitchen all of his life. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Well, Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. <sighs> With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Well, Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. No more than I thought. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Well, I mean, hey, I'm down to help him out, especially if it's like to, you know, absolve me and get him some solace. No Why are you looking to for waste me? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. Mm -hmm. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. Hmm. Mean to say you worked for Suburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I think I know a way. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. All right. When my you... people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. All right. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman. Please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. All right, will do. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our Saka's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. 
What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Hmm. Look, I don't trust you, man. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. Uh, well, you're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know, Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't hmm. need convincing. Seeing your memories, gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. <sighs> there is no us 